Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a pretty interesting one because I will be talking about cryptocurrencies. <laughs> no, sorry, I meant Crypto Mat, which is actually a very awesome plugin for Arnold and also for Nuke or other compositing softwares, which enables you to easily pull mats from any object. It might be materials, it might be a whole asset, or it might be objects inside this asset. So this is a pretty technical paper about CryptoMat. Um, it's very interesting and there's also a quick uh, demo video about it, which I just want to show quickly. And I will show you in this part how to install CryptoMat and how to get it up and running in Arnold and also in Nuke. So you can see it's pretty sophisticated. It works with depth of field. It wor works awesome with motion blur. And all in all, it's a very easy package to use and you don't need to worry about IDs anymore, especially previously you had to create um, right AUV shaders in Arnold to um, export certain colors to an AUV. So RGB would be the component for instance. Um, and then you could use that inside of crypto, uh, inside of Nuke or um, Fusion or whatever. So I want to show you how I have installed it. It might be for some of you guys too crazy, too advanced. I don't know, but it's a very efficient way to set up certain environment variables only for that Maya session because you have options to do global environment variables through Windows um, system properties. I will be showing you that step, but I am personally not using it. I'm using a bat file and a bat file is uh, more or less a run script which sets certain properties on the ex, uh, exe file before it's being launched. So you can see on the left here is my, um, my bat file, my 18 bat file. I'm setting several paths and shaders and OSL paths and then in the end I'm calling Maya and then Maya knows about these paths and then it's a very simple way to adjust them, change stuff and it's only for this Maya session. So before we jump into this I first want to show you where to get crypto mats for Arnold. Let's start with the Arnold side. So um, let me just move my window over. So if you go to a solid angle documentation, there is like a tab for CryptoMat. It's a bit hidden. It's in tutorials, AOV tutorials, and then CryptoMat. Um, but in here you will get a like how how you should be installing it and all this kind of stuff. So you first need to download the package, and it's actually from Anders Langlands. He has it on his GitHub repo. So you would go over to if I have it open, that's no, that's the wrong side. So let's just go in here. Let's see if it opens up. And it's Langlands. So there it is. And then you would just download the Windows version because I'm currently just showing you how to install it on Windows. Um, it's pretty similar to Linux or Mac OS. You set up an environment variable and then it should just work. So downloading this and let's just download the Nuke site as well. So for the Nuke stuff, uh, you would go to um, PSYOP CryptoMat and then you can download the whole clone, like uh, download zip file and then you have this Nuke part on your desktop. So I'll be showing you that. So you can see I have downloaded CryptoMat Master, which is from the PSYOP, Nuke pay, uh, PSYOP GitHub page and I have the AL shaders version 2 from the um, Anders Langlands GitHub. So here are the two folders. It looks pretty similar to the AL shaders, like the whole setup is very similar, um, but you don't have the AL shaders anymore. It's just CryptoMat stuff. I'm not sure what's in this thingy, but most of this is only CryptoMat things. And then on the CryptoMat nuke side of things or fusion, you have those guys in here. So obviously you can Google how to install plugins for Nuke. It's pretty sim uh, simple, but I'll just be showing you a quick way how I'm doing it. So I have them currently on my desktop. As you can see, I have a path here, which is on my um, proper path, but this is um, currently commented out, so it's not working. So if I would run, open this run script, which is saved, and then this is my directory for my run scripts, and at the bottom here, I've got a shortcut for this run script. 
So essentially, if I click this, this is being executed. So you can see something popped up and then there's a Maya thing loading and let's see what it brings us. So just give it a second. So there we go. So Maya's opening up always with a fancy new layout, especially if I save my layout, but it always is a different one, which is pretty annoying. Um, so I hope that will be addressed pretty soon. And if I go to render settings and to AOVs, you can see that there is no crypto mat stuff in here, which should have been, but it's not. So that's, so that's how it sh is on default. And let's just close Maya back up, back down and head over to my bat file. If it's been closed, takes a while. Oh, let's just do this. So in here you can see I'm setting up a path. So let's just type this out quickly. So this would be set and then let's say, let's call it, um, let's just call it crypto. Crypto. And I'm a bit lazy because it's it's very like, delicate with these paths and spaces and all this stuff. So I'm mostly just copying a previously working one, pasting this in. And let's just call this guy crypto, which is just a variable stored. So this path is being stored in this variable. And then in the these predefined plugin uh, paths I've set up, I'm just copying this crypto thingy. And I'm going to the m 2 templates path where you can see there's this backslash AE and then I'm just adding another with a percentage sign paste the crypto stuff and then it's there and you can see in the previous Sylvester shader path I added a backslash AE and that's exactly what I want to do too because in the AL shaders there's also the templates AE folder so it's for attribute editor templates so I do add a backslash AE so that is being set and I add a semicolon as well. And uh, let's just copy this whole thing and paste it also onto the Arnold plugin path, which is up here. And this time, instead of AE, let's just swap this out for bin. And this is how um, this path is being connected. So we have the, the plugin path as well. So this would be the, th the side for Maya. So let's just save this guy. So, and obviously you see, I forgot to store or save the path. Um, so this needs to be changed before we go into Maya. So I'm just opening this up. I'm going in here and I'm just copying this whole thing. And hopefully this will find it. So if I just paste it in here, see users backslash backslash yeah so this i hope should work i haven't tested it i'm saving it you can see it's saved now and i can run the batch the uh, bat script from from my directory or just from my shortcut which executes this thing again so maya is opening up and if everything went uh correct then we should see three aovs in the maya render globals and uh, they are being used um, to actually create those crypto objects which will be opened in Nuke and then Nuke will know about them and can extract those object IDs or material IDs or whatever you want to know. So let's go to the render globals, AUVs, and let's scroll down. And there you can see we've got those crypto mat things now. And essentially, in most in most cases, you would only uh, need to have this crypto object unless you want to have um, on materials as well, which might be helpful. Let's say you've got um, I don't know tin soldiers which all share the same material, and you just want to change that cert material, you can use this one as well. Um, or if you don't know what you will be using, you just create all three of them, and this is all you got to do for setting this up. So this would be installing CryptoMat on the Maya side, Maya Arnold side. Um, just a quick thing, which you can also do if you don't want to use those bad files. Um, you can use the system properties global environment variables. So I don't know why it takes so long to close. But you can go to your computer. Uh, so you go and right click on my computer and then you go to system properties and you go into environment variables. 
And in here, you can actually do the same thing which I did in my bat file. So you could create a new um, path if it does not exist yet. So let's say um, I want to add this um, M2A templates path. So I'm copying this name and it has to be exactly that name. And you can see it's not in my globals. So what you can do, you can just create um, the new variable name and then you would browse to this directory. So um, for the templates, it is the crypto slash AE. So I would just copy this guy and then I would paste it in here and then I would do backslash AE. And then if I want to add more, I would do a semicolon and add all the paths I want to add. So this is another approach to do it, which some people do, which I actually did before I knew about the bad file thingy. So this is a, a global way to setting variables. And the same is for the nuke side. So if for the nuke thing, you would just use uh, the nuke path instead. And then it would work the same way. So um, I just want to quickly open up nuke. And I just want to show you um, that there is no crypto mat in it. So launching nuke. Uh, no. And you, oh, why? <laughs> It's not supposed to be there. I think I did not save the bat file, did I? I actually did. Oh, I did not save it. You see, it's still red. So now it's saved. So now it's commented out. So let's run this again. And ideally, there is um, no icon for CryptoMat. So that's gone now. That's what we want. So this is the default um, installation. So for the nuke thing, I created the same thing. I opened up or I created a new bat file. And the, the most basic thing is like this. So it's the echo off, start, and then you, you browse to your nuke file, your, uh, your nuke exe file, and dash dash dot nuke x for your x version of it. Or if you don't want that, you can remove the x and that's without the x version. So, and it's kind of now the same thing as on the um, M2A side. So I'm creating a variable which is called crypto. Now let me just copy this and paste this and comment the other one out because I don't want to, I'm a bit lazy today. So now this is called crypto as well, but the path is the wrong one. So um, I would need to copy the path now from this guy here, or I can just go, I can just go on my installed folder, which is right here and copy this path and paste this one in here. So that's the crypto mat path and then I'll just setting the path for nuke, removing the comments. And then the nuke path is the crypto variable, which is the path to this folder here. And that's all you need to install crypto mat for nuke. So I'm saving this now and I'm running the bad file. And now we should get it back on the left toolbar side or not. So I guess something went wrong. I think I need to go into nuke instead of just crypto mat. I think I need to direct the path, the variable into this folder, which I didn't do. So let's just add backslash nuke and save again and run the bat. And let's see what we get now. There we go. So there's a crypto mat icon. On oh yeah. Huh. Okay. I'm sorry. This was run on the wrong screen, right? So I was talking about this icon and previously it was not there. Let me just demo this quickly. So um, this icon is not there because the path is working. So let's just close nuke and let's just um, uncomment these guys or comment them actually. Comment out, comment out, save, run nuke again. So fortunately it's a fast way it's very fast to load nuke and you can see the crypto mat icon is not there so which means it's not installed and then if i uncomment these two guys um, and save it and run it again it should work as expected so moving my node graph over you can see here's the, the crypto mat icon again and as I said before, if you want to do it globally, if you don't want to use those bad files, you can just do the same thing um, by using your global environment variables. So you would go to here and create a new path, call this. It, this needs to be called the same way. It needs to be new path. And then you can browse directory 
you would go to your desktop or wherever you have installed it and you would go to nuke and this would be it hit ok and run it and then you would have a global variable set instead of using the bat file so if you don't want to type all this stuff by hand there is you can download a version of this bat file from my website if you go on lightshaders.de and then you go to the download page also if you want to follow us on slack there's a slack join button at the bottom so anyways you go to downloads which should open up the download page and then you can get the link to the bitbucket repo and in here is a light shadow bad file and this is a um, this is kind of the same thing I have here in this bad file here so this is definitely something you can use and extend on whatever and this is how you install crypto mat for Maya and nuke thanks for tuning in and check out the next part where we'll actually be showing off how to make use of it and how to make um, how to get more freedom and changing materials and objects inside of nuke thanks for watching see you in the next one